Hi, this is Heidi Richards Mooney from Women in E-Commerce and to show you today's tutorial which is My Live Signature. My Live Signature is a really cool way to uh, spice up your posts, your emails, your blogs and other digital content using your own personal signature. And you can create a signature very simply with this. You can do it more than uh, two ways. You can either register which will give you access to their newsletters, etc. Or you can use the free version without registering. It's a totally free site. The way it stays free is that they've got all of these boxes on the side and there's all kinds of ads on it. So when you want have a chance, if you want to click on some of the advertising, you can. But for now, we're just going to go to proceed. I'm not going to register and I'm going to show you a couple of cool things and how you can use this. So it's going to create your new signature or font. Now you can use a scanned image if you wanted. If you had a scanned image you wanted to just scan in and create your signature with. Um, here's some examples of that. You can also draw a signature straight to your screen using your mouse. I tried that. I wasn't real happy with it. Um, I think it's cool if you have a touch screen and you're able to do that but with a mouse it's a little bit more difficult so I'm going to go back to create your signature um, you can create your own personal font for this for this example we're just going to use the signature wizard which is the simplest and you'll type in your name right here in this box be good if I could spell my name and then you'll click on next step and then you'll choose a font that you'd like you can go through all the fonts on every single page look for something that doesn't look like a typical font I would suggest so I went to I just did a couple of pages and found something that looked close enough to my signature that I could use there really wasn't anything too close most of these are kind of fancy but um, you get an idea so I clicked on this third one down and I chose that one then you click on next step at the bottom and then you can even figure choose which size you want your signature to be so I chose number five that's big enough for now then you click on next step very simply and here's a preview of your signature you can even change the background color if you wanted to a different color um, you can change your uh, the text color rather to a different color so say I wanted to use a purple font I could do a purple font you can also change the background color to anything you wanted um, like maybe a yellow and then it would give you a background for your for your picture I'm gonna just go with the white because I like clear background actually so you go next step and here's your signature you can also choose to set the slope so if you have a signature that you typically type, uh, write and it's a little more up or a lot more up toward the right you want to pick one I'm going to take slope number two because that looks mostly like my signature and then the next step down at the bottom pretty simple you can either download your picture your signature or you can right click and save your image to where you want it save it to I'm gonna save it to my desktop oh no I'm not gonna want I don't want to do that so now hmm save my image to downloads is what I want to do and now we are finished and that's how you create your signature with my live signature. 